All right, something ending for you guys this month of May. Some big life-changing ending to something uh, or significant. There is an end to something this month of May. A phase of your life is ending. All right, so let's go ahead here. The first card we have for, the, for how you're thinking. So we have this card of projection, projections, which is a card of you may be thinking about how the way that you're acting around other people, how you respond to other people, how people respond to you, how people are reacting towards you, how you're reacting, um, how they're reacting to things you say. Um, this is a card of react of basically um, the mirror, the mirror, I call it. How we see ourselves in other people or how we respond to other people without getting too deep into this card, which I can go for hours about it, but I love this card, but it, you know, this is a card of mirroring. So a lot of you guys might be thinking about, um, your interactions with each other and maybe how it is that you are acting and how it is your partner's acting or people in your life. So, um, in the sense that you may be coming to a higher awareness of knowing that maybe you do not get along with a specific type of person or that you've been acting a certain way because you felt that maybe somebody else made you act that way. Um, um, you know, we also bring people in our lives that are like us or at our vibrational energy that we are at. So if we sometimes don't like the company that we're around, sometimes, you know, it's because we're drawing that because we're similar to that energy. Um, it's what we're putting out. Therefore, that's what we're getting back. And sometimes we, we want to say, no, that's not true. I didn't bring that. I didn't ask for that. But subconsciously, a lot of times when we are in situations throughout our lifetime, um, it could be temporary, temper, temporary situations or long-term or whatever we do find ourselves. And that's how we grow is we grow through projection, through mirroring of other people. Okay. So the next card we have you guys is taking action. Um, you might be acting in, with success. You may be having a huge, uh, successful, uh, completion of something in your life. And now you're going to be able to, uh, have a party celebration. You're very uh, happy about something in your life that you've achieved and it's great success and achievement. So you might be having parties, going to parties, um, celebrating. The next card we have is feeling. You guys might be feel, you might, this is in the position of feeling, it's, it's integration. Um, you might be integrating um, the yin and the yang. You might be getting balanced in your life. You might be feeling very balanced. You might be feeling like I finally balanced work and work and family, or I finally balanced my emotions and my thoughts, and now I can control them. Um, maybe you're controlling your anger and you're integrating your anger with happiness, like you're able to control it and now to a balanced situation where it maybe not be so high and low. Uh, you may be integrating a family. You may be um, combining a, a family uh, together. Uh, you might be just getting, you know, the balance that you, you know, uh, two things are coming together. Two things are coming together and they're coming together with harmony. However, that uh, you may be feeling really balanced this month, um, Cancer, and the outcome is flowering. You've really achieved something big. Um emotionally, it looks like you've gone through some transformations within yourself emotionally. Um, and it's actually, uh, transformed you. And physically it's, it's once we're, you know, inside comes shows sometimes on the outside of us physically. So physically you are flowering as well, meaning physically you're blooming, you're blossoming, you're feeling good. Um, you're glowing and you're looking good and you're, you know, you're really growing because you've gone through something's come together you have you have success and you had um, projections. So I think that what's happening here is these cards are telling me that you guys have learned how to interact with one another in a very balanced way. You're seeing how what you say to others and how it, it comes back to you. So you may be so balanced now in your life that you're able to bring harmony in relationships and situations because maybe you're acting now in a more of an aware state of mind where you're able to 
solve issues and problems and before they occur, uh, you're, you, 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 you've, you've probably reached that level at this point. So you're succeeding in something of uh, you integrated and now you are flowering from it. So gosh, congratulations. Wow. Big. And something's ended for sure. Um, whatever's ended, it's, you're, you're obviously having a very positive reaction from this end. Um, it's really made you a different person and you're, you're really growing. So the main energy we have for you guys is the lovers. Uh, wow. So this is the main energy for you. This is a card of love, passion, love, um, romance. It could be, um, it could just be physical passion, self-love, love in a relationship, in a committed relationship. Even you could meet, you could be meeting somebody that you feel, and that is, is, is your life partner. Um, you could be meeting, you could be feeling passionate about yourself, just self love even, because I see that you're flowering. So if you're flowering, um, you've integrated something, you might be really attractive this month. Like I was saying, physically, you're going to be attractive as well, because inside it looks like you've really, um, done some work and you're succeed, you succeeded with something. So, um, you might be getting a lot of attention. You might be having a lot of self-love and or a relationship. We'll go ahead and see more about this card. What's crossing you is the Hermit card, our Virgo card, the card of Virgo. So a Virgo could be here for you and you're reading. Um, you or somebody else could be um, trying to find some uh, your path in life or answers to something, a question you have or some you know things going on within yourself. You, somebody might be taking time out. It could be you or somebody else. You could be taking time out or taking a break. And in this break, that's why you're taking the break because you need some time to um, go within and find some answers. All right. So in the recent past, you have the magician in reverse. So the magician in reverse, this is in your past. So maybe you were unable to manifest something in your past. So you were trying to bring forth something incredible, but you were not able ever to get it off the ground something wasn't, it was delayed. Something wasn't able to manifest. You weren't able to manifest something. Um, it was maybe not your fault. Uh, you know, now is the time I see. So it didn't, something wasn't able to manifest or delayed in the past. Uh, now it looks like you're coming into a new, something new, um, something good. All right. So what we have, we have the page of swords right now in the, in the position of what it is that you're trying to achieve, what it is that you want right now in your life, um, what it is that you're, you know, working towards. And we have the page of swords, which is, you know, this could be a younger person. It could be you. Uh, it could be an air sign. Um, it could be uh, a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. Um, it could be a younger person and it could be somebody, it could be, this is somebody who communicates the truth. They're young they speak the truth. If they're not young, it's just somebody who's very new at speaking the truth, um, speaking their mind and speaking the truth. So I think what you guys are wanting is for somebody to start speaking their truth or you want to get a, this is also a message, getting a message, somebody coming into your life to, to give you some information, some truth, some information. Um, and maybe that's why you're going within like the hermit, if this is you, um, because you are looking for some answers, but these answers need to come from within, sometimes within yourself. Um, but this is something else. This is somebody maybe you're waiting for somebody to come forth to bring you some clarity. What's right now in front of you in this month of May is the Knight of Swords. This is a water sign. Usually it's a male or female because it is a general. This is a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So it could be you, Cancer. This is somebody who is, their heart is open. They are, they have a, a love to offer in their heart. Um, and due to the fact that we have the lover's card here, you may be receiving an offer this month um, of love, or you may be giving somebody this offer of love. Um, you may be coming forth and getting this from right now. Um, because the lovers is here, the passions here, the love is here. This is somebody who wants to give love that has love to give, who is offering love, who is offering emotional support and offering emotional, you know, they care about, they care about you or you care about them or both. So that's coming in for you. 
And also we have the Ace of Wands, and that's in the current month of April, May here. We have some kind of a passion in, passion. Um, it could be money, work, uh, a relationship, but there is some kind of delay on moving forward with this passion. This is a passionate endeavor. This is something that you need to take the action towards in order for it to manifest. So it's in reverse, which tells me you're blocked. There's some kind of blockage here. I think that's why you guys cancer. Somebody's going within. They're taking some time out. They're going within their life inside. They're going in your mind. You're asking yourself, what is it that do I, do I really want? Do I really want to take this relationship or this job or this new, uh, you know, business of my own? Do I really want whatever this passionate manifestation is that you are trying that, that you're, you're being blocked right now because some, some clarity needs to come about. And I think that's why you're, you're, this is in your want section. You're wanting to hear from somebody or you're wanting to get that piece of information. Um, but it is within yourself, you guys. Most of the answers are always within ourselves. Sure, we sometimes need to get outer information, but um, keep doing this, keep meditating, foc keep focusing within. Um, but there is some kind of blockage here. Uh, we can go ahead and find out what, uh, what, why this is still here. It could be that you have been offered love, uh, a relationship, marriage, a uh, commitment, um, just to, to start a relationship. And maybe you're not really sure about it. Um, so you're going to think about it, uh, go within how you see the situation, um, this love and this offer and all this here is the emperor. Um, you may be feeling like somebody, you may be feeling like this emperor. You might be feeling that you're not able to really control or have stability or manifest your perfect life or your job or um, love or a relationship or anything within something within your life. So, you know, the lovers also could be about making a decision. So again, some of you are going within to, uh, get to make a decision, um, about moving forward in something because there is this offer on the table. There isn't a love offer. This is a love. This is an emotional offer. It's usually not about work or money. It could be, but this is definitely more about a love or emotions. Somebody's bringing in, um, but you're seeing this situation as somebody might, somebody, this person might be controlling. Um, they might be a little bit manipulative. They might be not doing well. This is a father figure as well. Again, it could be a father figure. It could be a boss. It could be somebody, this person coming in. Um, this is somebody who is, again, they're a little bit controlling. They're, they don't have control of their life right now. They're not doing well. They are a little bit manipulative and, and controlling. So we do have this situation here um, with this emperor, whether this be you or somebody, this could be an Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, then um, this Aries is not doing well. Um, they're way too controlling. They're way too forceful. They're unstable right now. Um, or you're seeing yourself or the situation like that. Like it might be a little bit out of control or too controlling. So the next card we have about your environment, think people, places, situations around you, it's the eight of wands in reverse. So there's no communication coming in. There's a block from the environment around you. There's no communication. There's a blockage. There's a delay in travel. There's a delay in messages. There's no messages. Um, there's a delay. There's something being held up. Okay. Uh, and so that's why I think you're waiting for this page of wands or swords. You're waiting for some communication to come in. It's not coming in and you're waiting for that. Uh, that may also be the reason why there's this blockage with this new, the beginning of a brand new, this is brand new, something new, something new, something different, uh, something great. It's being blocked possibly because you're waiting. There's something that's not coming in right now. And maybe that's why you guys are feeling out of control because you don't feel like you feel like something else is controlling, you know, your happiness, your love, your decision-making. So you're going within, um, you may be feeling out of control right now, 
or that somebody else is in control of your decision. Um, in the hopes and fear section, we do have the three of um, swords. So I think that you will have a fear or you are. Okay, let's put this can go several ways. You could be hoping that this is the month that you are finally over any heartache. You're trying to get over something. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying to move on and forward from any loss and pain that you have experienced. And I do see the death card here. So some, something did end, um, and, and you're emotionally trying, you're emotionally, uh, over it. You're emotionally over it. And this is the month that you will be over it. Once you maybe make a decision or you get the answers from within, you're going to be free, um, set free of any, um, anything that's held you back emotionally. Okay. Um, or the other thing is, is you're afraid that, um, you know, you're afraid you're, you're not going to be able to move forward. You're afraid you're not going to be able to get over something. Uh, maybe you're waiting again. Maybe you're just waiting on one message or phone call or email that's not coming in. Um, having to do with something that's ended, um, and with, with heart pain, heart, 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 heartbreak. But there you are. This is, um, this is you. You have a desire to fight through any obstacles. You're going to have the desire. You're going to have the passion and the desire, you guys, and the energy to make it through any challenges. You still have passion no matter what. Even though something's ended, uh, something's ended, you're over it. It's not bothering you. Um, you're letting go of any pain. Um, you're, you're loving yourself. You have passion again, and this is what you have. You're getting ready to embark on something brand new, you guys. Um, it's a brand new love or a brand new offer, or you're going to be able to open your heart up again uh, or open your heart and be available um, emotionally. Somebody might be, this person could be there for you emotionally to help you through, to get you unblocked, um, and to help you through any kind of, um, you know, this could be, okay, again, it could be two people here. You could be the one, um, because we have this, this, uh, eight of swords, um, which is no communication delay. So somebody else could be, um, you know, not communicating with you, um, blocking this brand new relationship or vice versa. So, you know, somebody else is going within, if you're not, if you don't get the message, if you guys are not receiving the messages, you're not receiving any, um, phone calls, any emails, any, job offers, any relationship offers, you're waiting for a person, place or thing. It's not coming through. Don't worry too much, you guys, because if this is not you in the hermit mode, it's somebody else. And that person needs the time to be alone. They need this time to make sure that they know what it is that they want. Okay. With you or, um, yeah, with you in a situation, but I do see this is the outcome. Um, this is one of the outcomes and that is, um, you're going to continue to fight for what it is that you want. You still have passion and desire and love, and this passion will help you get through anything you guys, and you will succeed. You're, you're already, you're blossoming into something new. This is a new situation that's coming. Something in your life has ended this ended heartbreak, uh, somebody, something ended in your life that really hurt your heart and it's over now. Okay. You're getting over that. You're healing from that. It's over. Okay. You were not able to manifest something in your past. You wanted to move forward. You were not able to, but that's over now. Now you have, you have passion, desire, love, an open heart. You're flowering, you're succeeding. And somebody here is just going inside and there is some kind of a little bit of a delay in this brand new beginning. There's a brand new passionate beginning and you guys are going to have it as soon as the decision is made. As soon as this clarity, as soon as you get this uh, clarity or this information, this uh, message. Okay. You guys are going to have, um, it looks like you guys are going to have uh, some kind of uh, new beginning here with somebody, a relationship possibly a love relationship. If it's not love, it's, this is, you're definitely gonna have somebody help you through some very passionate, uh, new beginning. 